Hi everybody, it's Tammy from stampwithtammy.com. I'm here with another five minute card for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let me show you what we're gonna make. It's kind of a, it's, I don't know if it's technically a fun fold or not, but um, it's kind of a card within a card. So it just opens like this. So it's really simple to make. Um, I did change it up a little bit for the one I'm gonna do now. Um, the measurements, you're going to start with um, four and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and it's scored at five and a half. If it's easier, just cut a four and a quarter by 11, score it in four and a half, at four, no, at five and a half, and then just cut off two and three quarters here. So it's really just half of front. Um, and then for the other card, it's two and three quarters by eight and a half, and then you're gonna score at four and a quarter. So I'm gonna put those aside. Then you need a piece of designer paper, and I'm using the Bright and Beautiful designer paper, six by six. Uh, it goes along with the Beautiful Balloon Suite. And this one is four by two and a half. So I'm gonna set all that aside, and let's do some stamping. So you're going to need two pieces of white cardstock. Both are four inches by two and a half inches. So the first one we're going to do for the inside, and I'm using Lemon Lolly, Azure Afternoon, and Bubble Bath. So for the inside, I'm going to use Azure, and I'm using the Beautiful Balloon Stamp Set. This is the stamp set and it it comes with coordinating dies we're not using the dies today so I'm just gonna stamp the happy birthday did you see the dog hair on my stamp we have dog hair everywhere but I love my dogs so and then I'm gonna add just a little balloon with bubble bath such a pretty pink Just like that. I'm gonna set that aside. Now for the front one, I'm gonna pull in my other ink. Make sure I have them all. And I'm gonna use the extra large stamp, balloon stamp. And we're gonna stamp in Lemon Lolly just a couple of times. And I'm gonna put that away. Then we're gonna take the medium sized balloon in blue. And I'm not gonna mask off or anything, I'm just gonna stamp just like that. And then I'm gonna bring in my small balloon again with bubble bath and just stamp a few more. Now you probably notice I missed a little bit here. I'm stamping on kind of a harder surface than I normally do. So the clear stamps, um, it would probably help to use one of the piercing mats underneath your project. Um, I didn't have one handy, so I didn't do it. But I'm gonna kind of um, hide it with my sentiment. I'm using Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, and the sentiment is, I think it's time for a celebration. That's the best thing about these clear stamps, is you can really see where you're stamping. And there you have it. So now all we need to do is put all of these together. I'm gonna go ahead and close up my ink pads. Because I don't know about you, if I leave one open, I almost always drop a piece of cardstock into it. So to put this together, we're gonna to start with the bigger card base. And my stamp and seal, look, it's a brand new stamp and seal. I just opened it and I've already lost the lid. You just need a little bit in each corner and then I always put a little bit in the middle just because. I want it centered so I just kind of take it like this before I smash it down and I just try and line it up so that it's even on all sides. And then I'm gonna add this piece 
Okay, and that was way more stamp and seal than you need, but hey. Just like that. And I like the coordination of the two. It's got all the same colors, but the stripes and the spots. I just want that to stick down. Now for the little card, I'm gonna put my happy birthday on the inside. Now you have to remember to do this kind of backwards because this card opens from the right, or this, the fold is on the right. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here. Close it up, and then this will go on the front. like this. See how easy this is? I have a couple of other samples to show you too. So, oh, well luckily we're done because I just got stuff all over it. This just, you want to line it up kind of right in the center of your panel and then just lift it up. And there you have a really cute card. Just like that. And again, this is the original. I used a different stripe. And I actually, on this card, I used Berry Burst instead of Bubble Bath. So I don't know which one you like better. And then same on the inside. And then I have another one that I made using the um, Gorgeously Made Suite. Um, and this is, the designer paper for this is uh, masterfully made. Um, and it's really all I did was stamp the sentiment and cut it out with the die that comes with a sweet. This is lemon lime twist ribbon and it opens up and I didn't put anything in the um, inside just because I thought it might be fun to write a you know more of a note to a friend. Um, but there's that one. And then this one opens a different way. This is also using the gorgeously made. And then this is from the Wanted to Say dies. They're so nice. There's a happy birthday, celebrate, thank you, and the feel better soon. But I like the way it's two pieces, so you can uh, do two colors. So this is all the exact same measurements as the other cards, but it just pulls open up like this. And what's kind of nice about this one is I used a white card base for the main, and then you could write here and here, either way. Isn't that pretty paper? It's so pretty. Well, there you go. There's your five minute card, and I did go over a little bit, I apologize, but I wanted to show you that. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm almost to 500 uh, subscribers, and I would love to get there. Um, Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.